Hi, welcome to ERCAD and Small Guru. I am Rajiv Lochan. Today I am going to show you how you can uh, connect to Inventor API from Visual C Sharp and Visual Studio 2005. You, as you can see, we have a version of uh, Inventor open. This is a 2008 version and we have one file that has been opened. Now let's go to Visual Studio IDE. This is the Visual Studio 2005 and I hope you have uh, gone through the Dev TV Inventor tutorial by the Autodesk people. Okay, let's create a new Visual C Sharp project. So we go to create project. Since I am recording the video, probably it's taking more time to open. Under Visual C Sharp, select Windows application and then name it Windows application 1. Okay, go ahead. So once this opens, we need to add a reference to Inventor API library. That can be done by right clicking on reference, click on add reference, and we need to go to com tab. once that opens we need to go to inventor object library it's taking some time okay we go down till autodesk inventor object library click on ok okay it's loading okay yeah now you can see that inventor has been added in the references to make a quick test whether we are able to connect to inventor API this is the tab from which we can have a control I just drag this button and place it over here say I'll just make it button 1 I double click on it and I go to the corresponding uh, code. We need to uh, declare a variable which can hold inventor dot application o app. We'll call it o app. Remember this is nothing but uh, similar to how we could do say int and x. Basically where x is the variable and int is the type. So similarly oapp is the variable and inventor.application is the type. Now we need to instantiate this uh, variable. That can be done using oapp is equal to inventor dot application close system dot runtime dot interrupt services dot marshall dot get active object and then we give the prog id of inventor that is inventor dot application I'm not very sure of uh, the functionality of this particular line 
but this is a substitute for get object that has been explained in uh, VB.NET tutorial. Once we get this, uh, we declare another variable int number underscore int which is equal to o app. You can see that all the corresponding methods and properties that are displayed once we click on the dot web dot document dot count since this is of integer type I need to convert it to string to display in the message box I'll do that using number string is equal to there's a function called convert then to string then I pass number dot int now we have uh, it as string so we go to message box dot show and then we give number underscore string so far so good let's see okay we'll just save this we'll go to file and save all once that is done we'll go to start debugging that should open up a form for us okay here is a form clicking on button one should show us okay number of documents open is one let's make a short check and open one more document or rather one more file this time I'll open say go to plate open I come back to form 1 I click on button get to so so far so good so this is how you test whether you are able to connect to API and uh, you may be wondering why this adding was loaded is being displayed here that is the part of the second video tutorial I'll be explaining you how to make a add-in which gets embedded into here tools add-ins you can see I have this inventor add-in tool that has been loaded I'll show it in the next uh, tutorial thanks for watching